Eleven to four, the final score today as Keen State women's lacrosse team has defeated Massachusetts Maritime here at the Owl Athletic Complex. Sports Information Assistant Nick Landy here, joined by the winning head coach for the Owls, Travis Wyant. Travis, congratulations! You have picked up your first victory as the head coach of this team after a tough start to the season. How does it feel to finally get win number one? Um, when I took this position, I thought I'd be so so pumped to have that first win i thought i would be really really excited but ultimately speaking like the w's and the l's aren't necessarily what's been so gratifying about taking this position i think it's been the growth and watching that and witnessing that um it's been so incredible to have these individual meetings with these athletes to talk with these athletes to have captain's meetings to have these moments where it's like hey we have a lot of things we need to work on this is what we're going to do and then to capitalize it on a game like this um is extremely extremely rewarding um, and that's why I think like this is so special to me um, and it's been like a long process to get here it's been a unique road um, but there's still a lot to accomplish um, and still a lot to do um, even though it's the first win it's definitely something I want to celebrate and enjoy for the next couple of days um, but we got to be on to the next one and talking about growing as a team what were some of the areas of growth you really that really stood out to you in today's win i think like we have been waiting for a lot of people to come back um from various injuries obviously Haley's coming back into her second game lola's back into her game um and for her to pick up her first goal that is monumentous for hers because it's not even just her first goal this season coming back from an acl tear it's her first goal of her collegiate career um which is really really important and it's it's fun to to being to be a part of those moments um but overall i think Getting that ball movement down, finding those opportunities to hit the hit the hit the cutters, uh, moving into the space. I think I saw a lot of growth on the offensive side, and then we really whipped out that backer defense um, that we've been working on all season, but kind of went away with it due to some injuries. Um, to have that come back into play and to pick up how many turnovers did we have today? We had a couple turnovers, 14 turnovers today. I think that's double digits. I think that might be the first time we've broached into double digits this season, and I think that's very inv- indicative of um, our defense. Another thing that stood out for you today is a new uh, change in goalkeeping. You started Kara Moriarty. Today you decided to recently move her over from the defensive position you had her in relief a few days ago against Occidental. You decide to give her the start today, and she didn't have the busiest day out in front of the net, but she did have to make a few saves, make some big plays, and help out the defense. What have been your early evaluations of Kara and goal? What do you hope to get out of her moving forward? Yeah, Kara's just a sponge. Um, Coach Turva, who's been working with our goalkeepers, has said she's extremely coachable. Um, she's somebody that's going to, you know, take what's t- been told to her and just add it to her game. She's like a she's like a stone in the in the cage i mean the mental game that that a keeper needs to be able to play is like massive um so for her to be able to just kind of slide into that position with really limited experience she played it when she was uh, going into high school but then moved into defense so she has some experience but to warm back up into it has been fantastic for her so to wrap up ultimately i think anytime you talk to a new head coach of a team one of the biggest things they emphasize is how difficult it can be to get their to get their players to buy into their plan, what they're trying to sell to their players and try to get them to be fully committed to it. How big does winning this game help you in getting your players to buy into what you're trying to get them to commit to moving forward? Yeah, I'm I'm really not trying to get these players to buy into me. I'm trying to get these players to buy into themselves. And they already have done that. Um, As much as I want to take credit for things, it's really all them. Um, They've done a great job. It, like even in the in the midterm like during the the fall break they did a good job of implementing new cultural pieces um, engaging each other in various aspects fighting through adversity it's been insane the snow the the changes the the practices the indoors and all that stuff they've done a great job kind of just rolling with the punches um, and that's kind of where um, I want these guys to buy in, buy in into the idea of like, hey, like no matter what happens to us, we're we're Keen State Owls, um, and uh, they would love for me to say they're Keen State Gowls. So that's kind of like the idea behind it, buy into each other, not necessarily me. Head coach Travis Wine, congratulations again on win number one in your collegiate head coaching career here at Keen State, and hopefully we'll see you back here soon with another victory under your belt. Yeah, just want to shout out my mom. Thank you, mom. Love you. Bye. We'll be back to wrap things up from the Owl Athletic Complex right after this. 
I pledge. I pledge. I am an NCA student athlete. And I pledge to be a champion of unity on my team, on my campus, and in my community. I pledge to embrace differences and strive for inclusion and collaboration. I pledge to stand against racism, hate, and discrimination. I pledge to strive for love, care, and forgiveness. I pledge to stand against silence, deceit, and obscurity. I pledge to strive for dialogue, truth, and understanding. I pledge to stand against fear and doubt. I pledge to strive for trust and belief in one another. I pledge to stand against complacency and stagnancy. I pledge to strive for change and growth. I commit to supporting my fellow student athletes in all circumstances that impact them. I commit to both choosing unity personally and encouraging it for all. I pledge these things because we are stronger together. United, United as, as one. one. Sports Information Assistant Nick Landy here as the Keene State Women's Lacrosse team has picked up its first win of the season and 11-4 victory over Massachusetts Maritime as the Owls, after losing their first four games of the season, now have win number one under the belt and now will also wrap up their four-game homestand as they will head back out on the road with their next three games on the road, with the first of them starting on Wednesday, March 22nd at Wheaton, Massachusetts. That's a Wednesday night game at 7 o'clock. The next time the Owls will be back here at the Owl Athletic Complex will be on April 1st against Eastern Connecticut State, their first Little East Conference game of the season. And that's a game you can catch right here on the Owls Media Network with the game starting at noon. We want to thank everyone for helping us out here at the Owls Live Complex, and we thank you all for watching King State Women's Lacrosse on the Owls Media Network. We hope you have a great rest of your day. You have been watching a Keene State Athletics broadcast on the Owls Media Network. Please tune in to our next broadcast, and thank you for watching.